A 2.4-mile swim, a 112-mile bike ride, and a marathon to finish the race. The Ironman Wisconsin serving not only as a test of strength and endurance, but on this 10th anniversary of 9-11, a team of athletes are showing the spirit of a nation's resiliency. When strength meets the fanfare of a finish line, the glory of success is easy to see. Along quieter paths of the Ironman Wisconsin, glory is a mere passenger to a stronger driving force. Yeah, it just reminds you that things are bigger than you. For about 150 police, fire, and military service men and women, 2011's Ironman is a chance to carry the legacies of those who gave their lives a decade ago on September 11. Even though I have no personal connection to those individuals, through the profession, there's a close-knit tie. I think it's going to be an extremely emotional day for a lot of reasons and for a lot of people. Representing the spirit and strength of Team 9-11. That's amazing. That's amazing. Rob Verhaust carries 65 extra pounds through the Ironman's marathon. All right, Rob! Gear that reminds the 11-year firefighter why the journey must continue. When people see me walking in that gear, you know, struggling to 26 miles and, and 65 pounds of gear, I want people to think of more than just, oh God, he's got to be tired. Think about why I'm out there, why I'm doing what I'm doing. Nice job, nice job. Moments after the attacks, the Madison firefighter drove to New York City to continue the work of his fallen brothers and sisters. I did eight days there. I got there two days afterwards. And um, so it's, it, it's a huge part of my life. It's where Verhelst says he saw the worst and best of humanity. It's important to remember that the attacks happened, but I think it's more important for people to remember what happened post-attacks. How we all came together as a nation, and how we all were going towards a common goal. Love you, brother. Along the course, just the sight of Verhelst draws an emotional high from the crowd. I was very emotional. I mean, it's a wonderful tribute to the great sacrifice that a lot of people made on 9-11. Our guys are out there running for our brothers and sisters that lost their lives on 9-11. and. Uh, that means a lot to all of us. With each stride, Verhelst inches closer to his goal, but Team 9-11 knows the path to a nation's healing moves beyond the race. The people who cross the finish line or the people who cross after midnight, it, it's about spirit. And I think that's what the whole 9-11 resolve from the Americas were, is that our spirit will prevail. Tracking the progress of Rob Verhelst through IronmanLive.com. Even with all that firefighter's gear, Rob should be finishing within the race's official midnight cutoff time.